trending gist with octavia cora this is a channel that you just don't watch a video and pass okay subscribe turn on your notification bell because the gist is going down here okay the celebrity gossip this is where you get all of it it's juicy so subscribe all right so we're talking about the real housewives of lagos if you've not been watching the show you've not been watching the review you've not been watching anything then trust me you are missing you're missing out on a whole lot of bars goes a whole lot of shade a whole lot of shot fired at each other like the ladies are fighting it is a hot mess so we're here to talk about iyabo ojo and tiana's empire which is tony lawani all right so a lot of them unfollowed each other online after they watched some of the episode some of them took to tweeting and you know complaining about everything so it's just been fire so after episode nine we were waiting for the fire that will come out from either or any one of them among the six ladies but this is what uh iyabo ojo tweeted after the episode nine aired she said this day i can never forget I was very ill, I'm anemic, so whenever I'm overstressed, it wasn't, and coupled with the fact that I had malaria too, that just wasn't it. But I was so determined not to miss Atiana's empire's hosting on the Real Housewives of Lagos. It was all about celebrating our culture and that meant a lot to me i love owambe owambe it's a yoruba word it means party groove you know their party oh they call it owambe so she said i love owambe i love local it's my originality and she put the smiley face and she went further to say moving forward i got myself treated fast fast took all the multivitamins and iron tablets but the funny part was i was rushed uh, okay, I was rushing the drips and she said this, kids never try that. The nurse was so confused at the point and she put two laughing uh, emojis and she said, she said, auntie, are you tampering with the control? I said, sis, sis, nurse. <laughs> She said, sis, sis, double sis, okay? Sis, sis, nurse, I can't afford to miss this event, Biko. Biko is an Igbo word. In, it's like, please, or, okay, or excuse me. So uh, she said, I, I can't afford to miss this event, Biko. Don't worry. I, I will come back and continue the treatment. At this point, I was doing my makeup while I was still on drip. Long story short, I made it with my friend Grace to the event and I had so much fun. Episode 9 of The Real Housewife of Lagos showing now on Showmax and she tagged them. That's what she had to tweet. And I think this was cool. And, and let me read to you the response of Tiana's Empire. Tiana Empire responded back and said, If only they saw you on drip doing makeup. <laughs> And she put four or five, uh, like, crying emoji. And she said, thanks for making it. And she gave her five hearts. So this was the conversation going on between the both of them. And I feel like this is what they should be doing, okay? Other than the way the other ladies that I don't even want to mention right now, they just go about complaining, bashing the show, bashing the producers, talking about what they did and what they didn't do. And we were expecting this. We were not expecting that. I just feel like you cannot sign a deal like this. And when I mean a deal like this, I'm talking about you signing a contract to be in a reality tv show it is always a hot mess anywhere in the world any continent be it america uh, europe africa or asia anywhere any continent at all if it's a reality tv it is a reality tv it is going to be a hot mess if it's a movie they will be able to edit out all the parts that they don't want to show but reality tv it has to be a hot mess for people to watch for the ratings to be high so i feel like this is the conversation that should be going on comment down below and let me know what you think about